Hi there and welcome. This is Nellie Deutsch and I'm really excited about this adventure because it certainly is where you will get a chance to practice using the latest Moodle version without a host where you don't have to pay anything completely free. And then, of course, learn how to be an admin of a Moodle site. So let's take a look at how it works. First of all, you go into Google search or any other search engine that you may be using and write AMMP. And then you'll get this. You'll download it. Now, whether you have a Mac or a Windows system, it's exactly the same for both. So I've downloaded it. It's on my computer and um, I use a Mac. Let me show you what it looks like. This is what you will see once it's on your computer. Notice uh, everything that's here. If you go into preferences, I ticked all these off. And uh, this is generic, so you add exactly the same link. I'll add it in the description of this video. And then notice the ports. You might want to take a look at these. Server, notice it has to be 8.0.35. It has to be the highest. And then, of course, the cloud. You don't really need to relate to these, but just so you'll know because they are there and you shouldn't worry about them. Now, for preferences here, for the web server, use Apache. Uh, leave out NGINX if you want to know more about it. You can actually uh, use Gemini to get more information on the differences. According to Gemini, the NGINX is a little more complicated. It's more for the advanced. So if you're a beginner, use Apache. Next, we are going to take a look at the top right here. Notice cloud, web start, and stop. We're going to go into web start because this is where the action is. And then we'll get this. Don't be alarmed by it. Take a look at the tools. OK, these are the tools. Notice you use OP cache, but you don't have to take a look at that. Help if you need any help. And then here the MAMP website where you can get lots of amazing information. If that interests you, let's go back here. We are going to go to my website. It'll say my website on that. And then this is it. And the information that you need here, notice it'll always have the latest if that's what you've downloaded. Right now it's 5.1. I notice the admin and the password is 12345. Really easy. So you go into the top right here. But if you want to take a look at the, uh, lower here, this is what you will see. Available courses about Moodle for Mac. In your case, if you're not using a Mac, it'll say Moodle for Windows and how to update, which is super important. All this is completely free. There is the Pro and it'll keep popping up, but you don't have to pay anything to get the value. So we're going to go to Login, Notice Admin, and uh, it's the same for all of us. And, uh, and that's how you log in, log in. And we are in. Now, this is Moodle for Mac. In your case, it'll say something else. There is, <laughs> notice, um, my profile and everything else that you need under profile. You might want to take a look at that. You can also, uh, of course, um, make changes. Notice uh, admin at local host. It's a local host, which means that it's uh, not on the internet, but it allows you to learn about Moodle and how to be the admin. So first thing that I'm going to do after notice Moodle, here we are. First thing I'm going to do and notice what's here, settings, participants, reports, question banks, and more, right? But we're going to go into the site administration. Notice you can also create courses here, but all right. So this is it. This is what it looks like on Moodle 5.1. If you've got an earlier version of Moodle, this is a chance for you to see what's available in Moodle 5.1. Or if it's higher than that, in the latest Moodle version, if you're watching this and there is a higher Moodle version. And of course, these are the old tabs, users, courses, grades, plugins, appearance, and so on. So we're going to be looking at these. But you can take a look in advance uh, and um, 
creating notice AI providers, AI placements. We'll be talking about that. Competencies, badges, H5P, license, location, settings, language. Very, very important, if, especially if you want to change the generic names that Moodle has. And I use this quite extensively in my Moodle sites, messaging systems, payment security, site home, and so on. And then what's important here are the plugins. Now notice you can, and this is so exciting, you can install plugins. Notice right now they're probably only the core. I don't think I added anything, right? Additional plugins, zero. So you can take a look and see what's available in Moodle 5.1. And you'll see things that you're familiar with maybe for earlier Moodle versions that are not here. Okay, specifically H5P, the black one is no longer here. Even though you can use it on 5.1, but it didn't come with this one. So we're gonna go into the plugins and notice here, install plugins. And there are two ways of doing this. You can go into Moodle and then install the plugins from there, or you can install them on your computer, download them, and then simply drag and drop them here. So if we go into Moodle, which I'm going to take you because this is really exciting. Exciting because I love adding plugins. Anyone who has studied in my Moodle sites uh, knows that there are a lot of plugins. And you can take a look, of course, we're talking about Moodle 5, so only relate to 5. Moodle 5.1 specifically because 5.0 uh, is quite different and you need to have the right plugins so that your Moodle site eventually uh, won't be compromised because plugins are very tricky. I'm referring to the additional plugins. And then you can go through this, of course, or you can simply search for your favorite plugin. You can um, also try themes to add themes to the map. Okay, themes, whichever theme you like. This way as well, not just uh, the plugin type. You can see different. And they're all for 5.1, but make sure that that's really the case because sometimes it's not. Everyone knows that my favorite is Move, but you can try the others and see what they look like right now. It's the default one, and you'll be working with others in the course so that you're not alone, not only with me, and you'll get a lot of ideas. Let's go back now. So we're back here and take a look at all of these. If you have any questions, of course, uh, the course is not self-paced. We work together and I'll be happy to reply in the support forms. But right now, if you have any questions about this and you're watching this, you haven't registered for the course and you'd like to know more about Moodle 5.1, I've been uh, Moodling since 2003 as an admin, so I've had lots of experiences. And I love Moodle, so your questions will be brilliant because I love answering them. So enjoy the course, enjoy Moodle, Enjoy taking a look at the latest with this map.